Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the XR Club and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look at three tips for working with rich data types in Excel. Now, if you're not familiar with working with rich da data types in Excel, I do have a detailed blog post on it and I'll put a link to that blog post below the video. So do hop over and take a look at that blog post. But before we get stuck into this video, I do hope that you will like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. So if you are ready, let's have a look at tip one for working with data types in Excel. I have a little bit of sample data here. We have county and we have two counties. And I'm going to convert these into a rich data type. And we see one of them hasn't fully been identified, but I know from our data selector that it is this first one here that I want. So I'm just going to select that. So now we've converted our counties into rich data types, which means that they have all this data contained within the one cell that you can easily reach into and get the information out of. So let's have a look at extracting some information and we can click, click this little insert data button. And from this, we can select a field that we want to populate some data with. So we've selected the area here and we've got the square kilometers of each of the counties, Dublin and Cork. But note that when I done this, we didn't get any header. So there's no way of knowing what this actually relates to if you were to save the file like this. So the first tip is to make sure you have your data in tables. So I'm going to delete this and we are going to convert this to a table control and T for table. And I've quickly converted this to a table. Now, when we extract the area field, we see that we have a header on the column that brings the field in for us. So that's really, really neat and a really, really cool reason to use tables. But there is another benefit as well. If you know the header column, if you know the column name of a field in the table. So I've started to type in population and it's bringing up these population amounts. So I'm just going to select population and we see that it's now pulled in the population for us. And all I've done was added a new column to a table and made sure that the column name actually referenced a field in our data set. So that is the first trick is to make sure that you use tables when you're using rich data types in Excel. The second is that don't you don't need to pull in fields to carry out calculations. Let's just say we wanted to calculate the population per square kilometer. So we would take our, we can reference our data cell and we can take our area and we can divide that. We can take our population and we can divide that by selecting our area and then taking and watch this when we put in the IntelliSense stops working when we start using formulas and this doesn't work with either the function or with using the dot formula that I'm showing you here. And we're going to look at the function now in a second. So if I put in area here and we see now that we've calculated the area per square meter, but we don't have a header. So we would have to put in a header here. Now we can also carry out calculations or bring in values using the field values function. So I am going to enter in field values and field values takes two arguments. It takes a value and a field. A field values comes along with these rich data types and it's there to extract data and carry out calculations on data. The only thing is you don't get IntelliSense on the fields that are available in the actual rich data type. So the first criteria is the value. So we take our rich data type and then our value field name. Well, we need to put this in inverted commas when we're using the field value function. So we'll say population. And then we can 
divide that. And I'm just going to make take quickly take a copy of all of this and we're going to divide it. But instead of population, we're going to divide by area. And we can close our bracket. And now we've calculated again our field, our population per square meter. Now to do this, we did not need to have these separate columns. So the next tip is, if you can carry out calculations on fields, carry them out as you're importing them in. Don't import additional fields to your data that you don't really need, as it only takes up space and gives you more to kind of look at when you're reading your spreadsheet and trying to figure out what's going on. Now, of course, you would have to put headers on these because there is no headers in these. But our next tip I'm going to move on to very quickly. And our next tip is trying to find in a worksheet all of your rich data type cells. Now, the F5, the go to on F5 is something that I would use. And I would tend to go to F5 and go to go to special. And if I'm looking to quickly jump to a number of cells that are in a specific format or formulas or something like that, I would go to the go to special option. But in the go to special option, we don't have the ability to find and select rich data type cells. Now there is a workaround to this and I'm going to show you that workaround now. If you go to file and if you go into info, what you're going to do is check compatibility because these rich data types aren't backwards compatible. So my next tip is if you want to find all of the rich data types within a worksheet, use your compatibility checker. So we go to info, check for issues, and I'm going to check compatibility. So now we have our compatibility checker here. And what we're looking for is formulas that may spill, data types. This workbook contains data types that are not supported in earlier versions of Excel. And this is the error that you're looking for. If you go to find, it's going to select all of them rich data type cells in one quick go. Now, if you want to convert these then back to text, hold control and right click and then select data types and convert to text. And this converts all of your rich data types back to text. But then any of your formulas that were referencing these rich data types will no longer work and you'll get this new error. And this new error is a field error, which means that the field that you were relating to can no longer be found. So that's my three tips for working with rich data types in Excel. The first tip is remember to use a table. The second tip is you don't have to import all of the fields to carry out calculations on them. You can carry out calculations as you're importing them in. You can carry out these calculations using the dot function or you can use the new field values function. And my third and my final tip is if you're trying to locate all of your rich data types in one go, use the compatibility checker. So don't forget to visit the blog post because there's more information on rich data types on the blog post. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to share it across your social profiles and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye now.